Yo, what's good? Stormy B Man, and I'm back with a brief video update on a fight that just took place over in Tokyo, Japan earlier this morning. The monster in a way stopped Luis Neri in six rounds of a fight that started out with a bit of a surprise for all parties involved. Luis Neri came to fight people. In the first round, he dropped Inoue for the first time in Inoue's career with a counter left as they were battling on the inside. And it was on from that moment because shortly after that, in the second round, Monster responded. He dropped Neri, and then we had a fight. So it was from that point that we could see that both of these fighters were out there to not only just compete, but now they had an edge toward one another. Anue began to box and utilize his speed and his footwork, and Neri was not able to adjust. He wasn't able to use timing to offset the speed, nor did he go to Inoue's body to try to slow him down. He tried to match punch for punch from the outside and mid-range, where the speed of Monster was a little bit too much. He was dropped again in the fifth round by some shots that he was taking too clean and too flush. These young fighters today who are using that shoulder roll crap need to stop it, get their hands up, be able to defend properly and parry punches, knock punches down, slip, bob, weave, get under shots, evade shots. No, these young men of today like to drop their po posture and allow you to tee off on them. I don't understand it, but there's not enough t teaching to go around to show them that this is not the way to last in the sport of boxing, especially when you're in there with a killer puncher like Monster Inoue. So then came the fatal sixth round where you could just see it was mere writing on the wall. Monster went after Neri, who refused to try to evade the power shots. He was landing his right hand off of the one-two set at will, and suddenly he was down and out for the count. The referee didn't even bother to count as he slumped into the ropes for that last knockdown. This fight is noted for Monster's first time being dropped in his career, but it's also a footnote in the history of uh, the fights being held in Japan with Neri, who had actually incurred a lifetime ban from Japan for some violations prior in his career. The ban was lifted so this fight could be had. Now, one could argue that they let him come back so Monster can beat him down as a little bit of political justice, maybe, but that might be reaching. All in all, Monster is really cementing his place where he is in the sport of boxing. He's still undisputed, and he's definitely in the top three to five in the sport of boxing. There are others who will tell you he's the greatest of all time and things like that, but the man's career is still yay young. But these are my thoughts. You can let me know what you think. This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Peace to everyone out there, and everyone, please remain safe.